G'day guys, Sam from the Cybermen here. Today we are doing a Fuse Zamasu deck profile with set 10 uh, included. So this is the set 7 Fuse Zamasu card leader um, that ramps the opponent and deals for, for life when you they get to 8 energy. Um, I've always loved this deck. I got the silver like metal card of the leader and since then I've always wanted to make it good. Um, I ended up doing pretty well last meta with it because or a couple of metas ago maybe where it was all about Piccolo and all those ramp decks um, where this deck kind of went really well. Um, but I'm gonna try and show you what it's like now. I've won some locals with this deck now. Um, we obviously don't have many big tournaments um, in Australia at the moment so there's not much testing that I can do other than that, but it's doing really well. Um, it's mono blue, as you can see, mostly mono blue. Um, I tried playing blue yellow, but it was a bit too clunky. Um, there's enough blue cards now that it works really well. So I'll start off just with the extra cards so we can get them out of the way. Um, we have four of Dimension Magic. Um, obviously, best blue negate still. Um, not much to say about that, to be honest. Uh, for Senzu Beans, again, it's a staple in most blue decks. This is really important to um, help get your field card out early. Um, you can either use Senzu Bean or your Leader Awaken to be able to do it on turn three consistently. Um, Ultra Instinct Goku's Kamehameha, I've just got two of these. It's really good uh, because this Leader doesn't draw that well um, because you're only searching top five for Zamasu and Goku Black the whole time. So you need cards that help you draw other cards because you do have a lot of other cards in here that are not those tags. Um, two of Whis Coercion. This is just again to help you against aggro decks. Um, just an extra bit of defense. Um, we also have Tragedy Overground, obviously. I'll talk of that, about that a bit more later. Two of those. Um, so first of all, for the battle cards, we have two of Respectful Master Goasu. Um, this is good to help find your pieces. Um, this is the only turn one play we have. Um, it's only at two of because you do search a lot with the leader. So finding a Zamasu card is not that important. But if you get at turn one, it's really good to find whatever piece you don't have in your hand. Um, Zamasu Cosmic Trader. So four of those. This guy um, is how you get your field card out on turn three. Him combined with the Goku Black Future Decimator. Um, so on turn three, you have three energy. You play Zamasu Cosmic Trader and pray that you don't hit one of your non-blue um, cards. It has happened to me before, or your multicolor. Um, so if you hit one of these, that stuffs your turn up. You can't go um, to the field card or the big Zamasu that turn, which is a pain in the ass. But it doesn't happen that often. So we go this guy, he ramps one. Then you charge the Goku Black from hand. Then you use the Goku Black and the Zamasu that's already on the field to fuse into your five drop here, which we run five of. This guy, if you have three on my energy, you can fuse from your energy. So that Goku Black you put in energy comes out. Um, then you have four energy, one of them tapped. So what you need to do is attack with either this guy here, um, your Goasu if you have it in, on board, um, or your Unison if you have it. So you you may have your um, oh you don't have your, you may have your Zeno Unison out. So you can um, attack with that or your leader obviously. So Senzu up to get your four energy up or Awaken if your opponent has gone first and charged then you can fuse into the um, uh, evolve into the nine drop here divine immortal so th once this guy's out on the field you're tapped out um, unless you can awaken and you can activate main or battle at any point to bring out your nine drop so a lot of the time you won't be using that straight away you're just getting a big body a 35k dual attack on the field that's indestructible and just swinging in um, doing some damage you want to get them down to four life if possible um, and then when your opponent tries to go all in or play more battle cards then you can activate battle play tragedy overground and ramp them sometimes against uh 
or more often than not even, against uh, aggressive decks, you will already have enough battle cards on the field to use this straight away. Um, because they, but opponents sometimes don't like think about this deck and don't realize what the um, field card does, which is awesome. If they do, they just tr sometimes try and go hard and kill you early. You just have to make sure you can survive, get this out, don't attack if they have some bodies on board because they can combo them off and clear them out. Bring your Tragedy Overground out, it ramps them, and then you can kill them that turn. Um, which is pretty cool. Doesn't happen as often as you'd like because you sometimes have to play a bit more strategically. If they do have a lot of bodies on board, you can use it and then hope um, Goku Black the Replicator can finish them off. Um, I didn't run this initially. Uh, I ran the three drop, but that's less consistent. I think once you um, get your Tragedy Overground out, you can have a couple of these. You're searching them with your leader. You're searching them with Goasu. Uh, sorry, you're not searching with Goasu, but you're searching them with your leader. And it's very easy to get a couple of these in hand and just play them and stall your opponent out. Simple. Um, we have two Unisons in this deck. We have two of the Zeno. Um, this card is good sometimes so i only play this if i want to ramp up and i don't have the right cards to maybe play my um ss4 gogeta um so if i need five you know i need five energy so i might like play this the turn before ramp to five and play the gogeta um but the problem with it is the minus five skill which wipes their board goes against your whole strategy where you don't really want to wipe their board um, and until you've got your Tragedy Overground out, and if you do it when Tragedy Overground out, this card actually wipes your field card as well. So it chooses all cards in all battle areas, ignoring barrier, and shuffles them into their owner's deck. Uh, really good against the mirror if they get Tragedy Overground out before you, but it's obviously detrimental to your play. Um, tragedy Overground only can't be removed by your opponent's battle cards skills. Um, so it can be removed any other way. Um, the second unison we have is Super Saiyan Gotenks Absolute Unison. Um, this is almost a finisher. It's a power card. This card comes out late game. Uh, it's four specified cost. It helps you draw with the minus two. Uh, it's a dual attacker and it's also a blocker. So you can use it to um, wipe their two of your opponent's battle cards, but that's less common in this deck. It's much more to for the draw two and the dual attack. And then it's good for defense as well. Um, I only run two of them because you're only getting them out late game on, on curve. You're not really playing this because you're going to be going into your four drop, uh, your five drop, then your nine drop when you have four energy. So it's just kind of a late game um, play. Uh, we have two grade eight Goku Saiyan Instincts. Uh, I run this in a lot of my decks. I mean, why wouldn't you? It's amazing. But especially in this deck, again, like I said, you can't draw into cards that are not Zamasu uh, or Goku Black off your leader. So it's good to have things that you can draw like this from your drop area. Um, super combos. I have two Zamasu Sacred Disbelief purely because you can draw um, that off your uh, leader skill. And also, obviously on defense, it's great to be able to tap things down. Um, I have used this a bunch of times to tap down blockers when I get my uh, Gogeta out. I, a lot of players will play the low cost blockers because they, once my Tragedy Overground's out, they can't play any battle cards. They're just playing low cost blockers to try and accrue um, cards in hand and defend. Um, so this is good to tap them down. And then we play two of the Elegant Assistance Healers. Um, still one of the best super combos. Um, I don't run the Zeno super combo. I feel like there's never a time when I don't have energy available on defense. Um, and if I don't, then I've got Dimension Magic. Um, so it's much easier, better to be able to drop cards and draw. You know, you drop your Great Ape Goku Saiyan Instincts and draw two, and then you can use your Great Ape Gro Goku from the drop area and draw another two. It's really good. Um, a couple of other cards that I've got in here are just utilities. So we have a Boonie after a Miss Slash. In a blue deck where you have a lot of energy to spare, why wouldn't you run this card? Um, so this guy obviously comes out for four, he's got Deflect comes out as a 20k body plus three 15k bodies um, and then you can also use his activate main to untap and draw um, or just untap sorry if if the, it goes your way um, this is generally a finishing turn play if you can't get them to eight energy 
Tragedy Overground is good to have out, even if they're not, it's not going to um, finish for your leader skill, just because they can't play cards. Um, so you get this out and finish them off. Um, and the other couple of cards are Great Priest, Herald of Deliverance. I'm not, I'm still not sold on this. I keep it in there because it's good to bring cards back to hand if you want to replay them. Things like the Goasu um, are really good, but it's still not amazing because you don't have that many gods in here. Um, so I may remove this. Goku Black is another one that's important to bring back to hand if you're facing a really long game where both you and your opponent can't um, just do, deal that final blow. So if you've got one of these on the field and say one of these, you can play the Great Priest, bring your Goku Black and your Goosu back to hand. But again, I'm still not sold. That's something that probably can be replaced if you prefer something else. Uh, and finally, uh, we have the Super Saiyan Trunks God Ceiling Technique. This card is kind of a panic button. Don't use it very often at all because they're usually not playing bombs uh, because I get my Tragedy Overground out turn three. It's before kind of anything they can do. Um, but it's good to play against um, things like Sin Shenron um, and, you know, stop them from, like, you know, store them a turn so they don't get that Sin Shenron out. Um, speaking of Sin Shenron, I did come up against it a couple of times and this card, Goku Black the Replicator, again, it's not that common that people play this in this deck with the new build, but this is amazing against Sin Shenron. They get it out. Play this in your energy. Enjoy. You know, they get to draw. They get to put their um, one drop back on the field. But you can just keep reusing this with the God, uh, Great Priest and ramping them until they don't have that card anymore. They've only got max four in their deck. If you put them all in energy, it's gone. And their whole game plan is kind of shot to shit. Um, so this is a really good way of dealing with that. Uh, and obviously we have Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta Peerless Fusion. Um... By now, most people would know what this does. Uh, you have five energy if they're all um, the same color, which they should be. Play it from your hand. You draw two cards, activate, uh, switch two of your energy to active mode, and you can get rid of two of your opponent's battle cards. So usually I play this after Tragedy Overground has come out. Um, it helps me clear blockers, helps me clear little guys they have on the board, and also, it's so hard for them to remove it because it doesn't, it can't be removed by skill. Um, and they have no battle cards that are big enough to attack into it and kill it. Um, so you're just swinging with triple strike 45k every turn until they're finally like, yep, I'm dead. Um, it obviously helps that this deck really doesn't play that many battle cards um, other than before you get your Tragedy Overground out. Um, you have to choose, you know, which way you want to go. If you want to try and keep doing the energy ramp with this or go to the Gogeta because you can't play battle cards once you've got this on the field. Um, but generally, this is the better option. A triple strike that is hard to remove is, you know, 45k is really going to just win you the game. Um, and then, you know, you have the built-in removal with your leader. Once they're at four life and eight energy, it's a good game. Just chuck those um, cards at the into the deck. GG, or you can use it when they're at, you know, five life and then try go for the attack, but it's usually better to get them down to four before you use it. Um, that's about it, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Um, again, like I said, this deck's still in testing. Um, I have refined it a lot. I've won some tournaments with it, but there are still things like this Great Priest that I'm not 100% sure about. Um, Zeno, again, I find it's very niche use um, for that, just like pretty much to only force yourself to get out the um, the SS4 because most of the time you have the cards to ramp already with your Goku and your your Goku Black and your Zamasu to get into the big guy that this isn't really needed. Um, so that's something that you can think about removing as well. Cheers! Thanks for watching guys. Remember to like and subscribe to keep up to date on all the Dragon Ball Super content. Um, we want to thank Grand J Games for all their support and remind you to use the code CYBERMAN5 at grandjgames.com for 5% off all your singles needs. Cheers.